Yeah, it's just gameplay. What can I do? And oh, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we want to fly a vulture with two large plasma accelerators. Um, yeah, I will tell you some details why we why we choose our first target here. Fly around a little bit. Okay, so. Uh, the build is actually the same as in my Vulture guide. So if you want to see the build, then you can just uh, watch in this video and watch that video. Um, except I've changed one chef. Uh, I, I've changed the missile protection. I'm not sure how it's called at the moment with another chef. Yeah. Okay. And also one thing you notice here is I have the same build. I have the same uh, 5C by weave. Uh, shield generator, but when I deploy weapons, I have to shut down my life support. So yeah, oh, that's actually also one thing that changed. Uh, I got a bigger life support actually, because now we have 25 minutes to fight, and af after the fight's over, uh, after the fight's over, we can simply retract the weapons, and we instantly have the full charge of the life support again. So that's pretty good. Okay, now I have to concentrate a little bit. Uh, sadly, there's there's almost no sound when you don't have your life support up. But yeah, just look at the damage and enjoy. It's a bit hard to recognize when you are shot or when you are not because yeah you just don't hear anything. Oh nah. sorry for that. Bit dissatisfying, unsatisfying. So yeah, as you can see you yeah, and I would have gotten the same amount of money um in the hazardous uh, resource site. Uh, yeah, just accept that my shields would have been down, probably my canopy would have been broken, so if anyone knows uh, another advantage of going hazardous, please let me know, but yeah, I don't, I don't see the point of going there. Okay, I will, uh, I will uh, be back when I found some enemy. Okay, here we are again. Uh, this guy had a frame shift. Okay, never mind. Okay, so right now we are in, in a hazardous resource extraction site because I found exactly one ship in the high resource extraction site, which, as I said, gave me the exact same bounty as if I were in a hazardous one and easy to kill. But. Act, uh, apparently the game doesn't want me to have fun and I have to go to a hazardous one where I will basically do one fight or two or three if I'm really good and then have to go back to base which is also not really fun um, yeah but let's just see if we find something here I mean Edda is even something that we can kill without dying ourselves that's pretty nice I mean a python there's a really high chance that it just kills us because here you don't have any friends. First I want to scan, then I want to get close enough so I can actually hit. Because as I said, plasma accelerators are the hardest weapons to hit in the entire game. Because you have to, to aim yourself and they are really slow. I think it needs about 2 seconds or 1.5 seconds to arrive at the target with this distance here. Okay, I think we are close enough. Now we just have to make sure that our canopy doesn't break. Everything else doesn't matter. Just the canopy has to stay alive because otherwise we cannot aim.
So how much health does he have? Oh, 58%. So as you can see, damage is extremely high. 4%. This is some serious business right here. This is... What? What? So yeah, you can actually, you can, uh, you can see the drawback of these weapons, but once you get the hang of it, goodbye, my friend. Okay, game, please, please give me another ship that I can destroy. Okay, Python, please, please be a pirate. Yeah, he kind of looks like it. Yes. Okay, my friend. So now we recharge the weapons a little bit. Uh, the engine, sorry. Oops, I'm a bit fast. Okay, and now we put everything into weapons. Ah, he stopped moving. Morning. Good thing is he's already being attacked by someone else. So yeah, here aiming is even more important, obviously, than with uh, burst lasers. Yeah, if you are in a vulture and you are bored, I really recommend you this build. First I thought you... oh, oops. First I thought you have to get rid of the shields. Uh, yeah, but actually you don't. You can simply shut off your life, life support and even get a bigger one. So that's also one thing I really don't understand in this game. That you shut down your life support to actually get the, the minutes. That's that shouldn't be how it works. Actually, if your life support shuts down, you should have like two minutes to to survive and that's it. Oh, it's reloading. Yeah, problem is he also has ex plasma accelerators. They hurt quite a lot. Okay, that's it, bro. Imperial Clipper is also a nice target. Okay, really good. Because they are actually they are kind of squishy. They will go around faster than than uh, Python at least. I think what I just did was my first Python kill in this game. At least alone. So yeah, then the, uh, uh, apparently the shields are not very big and plasma ray accelerators uh, recharging. Yeah, and already 50% hull. I mean, okay, he's only competent, but still, it's a clipper. The heat is not not an issue. I mean, in emergency we can still take a heat sink, but so yeah, always uh, remember to um, to retract your weapons in between fights, so you can get the life support back. Whoopsie. I guess this one is a pirate because he's not busy with mining anything. People who are not busy are usually pirates. Those people who always look like they have AFK, they are 
not wanted most of the time. It's still reloading. I, I, I have to keep an eye on the uh, on the ammo actually. Wow, that was close. Okay, first hit destroyed the shields and uh, did seventeen percent damage to hull. So I guess the next hit, if both hit, yeah, just one hit. I think it also depends in which angle you hit them. Yeah, so this one made a lot more damage than the previous one. So I think if you hit them orthogonally, it's a lot stronger. Come on, man. Don't be so fast. Shields will be up in a sec. Yeah, that's it. Shields won't help you anymore. Okay, man. I mean... Can you please give me something big? This is a hazardous resource site. I don't want to fight Adders. I want to fight Anacondas and Pythons. Ah, a Python. Might be nice. Is he in the wing? Elite Python. Yes, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Furina. Okay, come at me. Good thing is he's already being attacked by other guys who are also wanted, so this could be really nice for me right here. Warning. Taking heat damage. Under so he's dealing big amounts of damage. I would be grateful if he could attack the other guy instead of me. But yeah, apparently he wants to kill me first. Because I look squishy. Did it hit? Yes. I love it. Okay, so now I have a bit of a problem. I need to recharge the shields. Um, yeah, they don't really do recharge. So I guess we just have, a, have to use Chef Launcher and... Okay, he, he switched focus. I guess we just put something into engines more so we can simply evade his shots. If he hits my canopy right now, I'm so done. Okay, nice. So now he can attack those who attacked him. Okay, cool, it's a python. Okay, so actually the oxygen doesn't reset. That's a bit of a problem. Is he dangerous? Oops, I cancelled the scan. He's not really impressed. Yeah, the problem with the Python is it's really tanky, really strong, and um, still kind of manu maneuverable for such a big ship. And if nobody helps, um, it looks, looks a bit bad for us here. Yeah. Okay, now I am behind them, that's good. That's really good. I just want to to let the canopy be long enough here for so that I can still aim. So 
Someone's scanning me, that's a good sign, because usually they scan if someone is wanted, which I'm not. Okay, now I cannot aim. Ah, <sighs> so much fun in dangerous sites, really. Uh, aiming is basically impossible while they are moving. Sorry if this turns a little bit boring here, but yeah, it's just gameplay. What can I do? And oh, okay. Who even needs a uh, um, uh, who even needs crosshair? Okay, that was that was an airball. Yeah, if you want to try this at home, I recommend you to buy milita military grade hull, or otherwise you will have a bad time. Sadly, there's no upgrade for uh, the canopy itself. But yeah, as I now know that the the oxygen actually doesn't uh, reset. Yeah, the, the canopy isn't such a big deal anymore because I have to go back after about 15 minutes anyway. Yeah, I will go to the station, just see how much money I made with this. Um, yeah, see you in a sec. Um, yeah, it seems the plasma accelerator is really really good in uh, hazardous sites because you it just enables you to kill big ships by yourself um, yeah downsides of this build of course are limited time and yeah hazardous sites in general are yeah, pretty bad it's just yeah, you can you can kill ships quicker because there's always something in there. While in high resource sites, there are basically the same ships, but yeah, they, don't, they don't spawn as often. So ju let's just see how much we made. We have cost of 35,000. What we got? 500k. It's not great. But it's okay, I guess, and it's, it's kind of fun. I'm, I'm still a bit disappointed with the hazardous. I think there should be at least a uh, times two or times three um, bonus on the bounties. Because, like, this is really not worth it. It's just for people who are uns, un, uh, unpatient, uh, impatient like me. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video was at least some fun to make it and hit those accelerators and yeah see you next time